All right, it says, it says that I'm live. I probably look like a silly person. Uh, anyhow, how's it going, everybody? Over there on the internet. I have my first cup of coffee right now, so a little bit under the uh, uh, crazy. But uh, today I received in the mail a surprise two packages. These lovely things. And uh, so we can, we can dive into it. But I think I want to open this one first. It says poster inside. There it is, poster inside. So this is the <laughs> spinning. I don't know if I can spin this on my finger. I'm not. It's not getting the grip. <laughs> the spinny spinnies. Yeah, spin this way. There we go. Oh yeah, look at those spins. <laughs> uh, frozen. Oh no, is it still frozen? Still working? Is it working good? You guys hear me okay? How's it going, everybody? So yeah, just a fun unboxing, and then we'll discuss what's in these boxes. And it was kind of last minute. I was, and then I'm, I need to go take pictures of whatever's in these boxes and post it up. Weeb poster incoming. <laughs> no, definitely not a pizzeria chef. Um, that is not my skill set. Um, so we'll first unboxing. I have no idea. Actually, I have no idea what's in in these. I kind of have an idea. This one is wow, well packaged. This might be a shirt. So that's that. Um, oh, it is a shirt. Sweet. Shirt and a poster, it looks like. Um, oh, that's cool. So, if you guys don't know, I am a big fan of Koss Porta Pros and their Yaxi pads. So, that's pretty dope. Um, yeah. It's one o'clock here, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so a big, nice, giant Yaxi pad poster. It'll have the smaller versions over there. Um, so that's fun. Very cool. Um, and then a very <laughs> Yaxi. They know. They know. They know the things that I like. <laughs> it's got the the purple Yaxi pad. And it's a champion shirt too. It's pretty nice. And then on the back, it's got the same poster. That's pretty dope. That is way dope. I'll be wearing. I'll be sporting that. That's a cool shirt. Um, and on to the the prize. So, I, if this is what I think it is, it's something that I've been kind of begging Yaxi for for a while, um, and I'm excited about this. If this is what I think it is, and it's definitely. Definitely what I think it is. It's a, uh, it's another little poster of the same poster, and then it's also a purple Yaxi pad sticker. Okay, that was that. That was the unboxing. I think that was pretty fun. Um, uh, thanks for joining. And uh, <laughs> but uh, jokes aside, uh, got another one in there. And then for the the final the final unboxing of what I've been wanting and expecting and waiting for and asking them to make for me for a while is these lovely things. So yep, uh, they are purple maxi pads from my Porta Pros. So now my life is complete. They they kind of match the. Um, a little bit darker color actually than the Yaxi pad. Uh, God, that, that sounds really worse than it is the Yaxi pad thing. But uh, so I have the uh, Yaxi purple ones for the grottos. Um, literally bought grotto headphones so I could have the Yaxi purple pads. So that's that's a thing. Um, but it's they're a little bit darker and uh, yeah. So now we have purple um, Yaxi pads. Uh, and I'll take some pictures of these and try to get these all, all set up. I need to make this unbox kind of nice so I can potentially put this back together a little bit to take pictures of. Yes, in-game has been achieved. The uh, the purple Yaxi pad costs Porta Pros. So there they are. And then we'll, we'll pop these bad boys off. <laughs> Um, and so I kind of wanted to talk about this a little bit too as well with you guys um, 
and gals, if any gals are watching, um, was kind of, we were discussing in some other discords and some other things like that about, um, like, what's good enough? Uh, like, kind of like the, most people go for in-game, like, true in-game setup. <laughs> and if I didn't say hi to everybody, hi, hello. The words they come out the mouth really well um, hello everybody <laughs> thanks for joining and uh it's always a blast chatting with everybody um but i wanted to talk about like the what's kind of good enough or like what's um not greatly but like there's that whole um you know what's what's worth it to one person over another kind of deal and i think for a lot of people you know, it's going to vary. Everything's going to vary. Like what's what's worth it to one person is not going to be worth it to another person. And there's biases that come into play and all that fun stuff. Um, I did use uh, P4Fi. I did, I did have, um, oh no, for the 8700. Sorry. I saw 700 and I thought, uh, <laughs> I thought HD 700. So I did get HD 700 replacement before I sold those off. But uh, um, no, I have not gotten new ADH pads. I need to that's another project that's kind of sitting in the wings that I need to, to get fixed. Um, but uh, <laughs> anyway, so this actually I'll, I'll show these off here. Let's see if I can get these to play nice in the focal. They look lovely. Like this, 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 this is oof. So choice. Like like that. So so pretty. So pretty. Um, so I want, but anyways, like so, I literally take Yaxi, well, Porta Pros with Yaxi pads, pretty much everywhere. They've become like my uh, kind of everyday carry in my photo bag, in my if we go on trips anywhere, um, if I'm kind of out and about. Um, these kind of go everywhere with me. So these are, you know, they sound. I mean, yeah, I mean they're they're like I think for the total package, it's like. 40 bucks grand total, but I mean, um, but yeah, so take that into account, but I mean, as far as like just performance and sounding good enough, like these are fantastic and they work really well for, you know, if I'm on my phone, I have a, my little, uh, iPhone dongle or my, uh, iPad, I have the iPad dongle thing or straight from the computer, that kind of deal. Um, or even from like my, uh, do I even have my DAP right here? Yeah. Uh, or even straight from like a you know portable audio player, um, or digital audio player, uh, they sound really fine. Like they're great for what they are. So I think that's something to, to that I want to kind of discuss a little bit as because these are really cool and I'm really stoked to have purple <laughs> Yaxi pads. Um, and then uh, I'll throw these bad boys on real quick just because. Um, but that's another thing. Like these, they don't look horrible on the head they look relatively normal they're kind of they have that retro feel look to them um they uh you know and they they sound good they're a little bit more on the warmer side but they have enough detail and enough um capabilities to make most people happy with the sound um <laughs> yeah yeah like it's, it's kind of yeah, i agree like so there's that and there's there's then you go to the the super higher echelons of of headphones um, that you can get real crazy pricing. Like I have these just happen to be right here, but like, you know, you can go to like the rad zeros, which are fantastic for me. I personally really love these. Um, but yeah, you're talking like $2,400. Um, and yeah, these don't hold a candle. Like the, the port pros don't hold a candle to the, to the, to these. But, uh, but in the day for like out and about running around, just having to just listen, these are totally, um, yeah, exactly. Don't work any worse. Uh, but yeah, they, and you don't need to amp or DAC. They just work. Um, they sound good enough, and they, they do their job, right? And um, now, that being said, like I, I do think that there is something that needs to be done. If you're way into the audiophile world, that's not needs to be done. That's a bad analogy. Uh, <laughs> um, it, you know, moving up the tiers, if you're, you know, there's, there's that dedication. I'm um, sorry, I have my dogs right here. But... Uh, the uh you know there's there's those kind of things where you 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 know if you're an audiophile that's way into it you you know you scale up and you want your better stuff um so what are you guys thinking what is your guys thinking on good enough like uh i know drift just had the got the sus in um but yeah like the so that he's got like top tier total in-game type deal 
Um, and a lot of people have had the experience with it, but then also you can go to something like the 6XX, like uh, Drift of Sand or the, the Bears. Um, I also have, you know, on hand, like, you know, what personally is my favorite um, in-game headphone, which is the Verite Closed, um, also deliciously purple. Um, and, like, I think that for people, you need to kind of find your own... Um, what's worth it to you what's what's value mean to you um oh i didn't see the purple vcs on reddit i'll have to check it out um they're probably already sold off <laughs> um but yeah i think that that was something that kind of came up even this morning a little bit in one of the discords like what's what's worth it to you um and that i think is more important than what's worth it to other people or reviewers or that kind of stuff so if you get your opinions like you know like don't be upset when somebody says oh that's not not worth it it's not there's no value there that's that's a it's a subjective thing like for instance for me the the verite clothes have multiple things in place that are making it more value to me um in the sense that it was a custom it was the, one of the first customs that zach did for the verite closed um it was hand uh delivered or to me at zm festivus too um and i have a lot of uh fond memories of of zach and bevin and, and meeting them and, and the experience of going through the process of having them made and the interactions and exchanges and those kind of things and then obviously i personally just actually do really enjoy the sound of them so there's a whole lot of things going on there and i love the look of them i love the feel of them um and so to me there's also that factor into what's good enough and what's you know value for people right like the, the experience of that is priceless to me so therefore there i have a lot more value ingrained into those headphones for instance um so I wanted to discuss that a little bit. And, like, so, like, what's, what's your guys' thought? I mean, and, like, for instance, even, too, like, uh, Android says G-Buds Pro. I, I'm, I'm positive those are fantastic. Um, little little uh, wireless. Uh, sorry, I'm making sure my dogs aren't chewing up any of my cords. or They're just chewing up each other. Um, but, uh, you know, like, the, the, those kind of things. There's those good enough things or those things that are just, like, everyday carry that have such value because they just... They war they're your workhorses, right? Like the Focal Alesia, um, man, I I use those like crazy, and I love those things. Um, and I and they were my most used headphone for like a good year and a half, I want to say. Um, so like that kind of thing. So let's see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was actually I actually have my TTT right here, uh, Last Rider. Like, oh, I should I should listen to the to the. I'll do a. I need a swap out the because it needs to turn on i don't know if anybody has a tt2 or has experience with it but when you plug it in for the first time it switches from dac mode to amp mode and it kind of um <laughs> it can do, it takes a little second to kind of go oh wait i'm in amp mode and then get all the the um get the power levels up and all that fun stuff so let's i can do that let's let's oh, oh where was that here? i'm making it go nuts here um but another thing with these too is like they have uh, the mic on there. They're they're great. Um, <laughs> yeah, the the dogs are kind of fighting each other right now. They're being nuts. Uh, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys my other Boston Terrier slash Muddy Mutt Mutt guy. He's we he he's undocked. So he has this really long tail. And I'm pretty sure he's part wiener dog or something. Come here, use him up. Bubba, come on. Right here, dude. Come here. Come here. You. Oh, come here. Right here. Come here. Come here. Don't let her get you. Come on. Up here. Don't let her bully you. Come on. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, come. Don't let the booba be nice. Yeah. Aggressive little bully. Anyways, this is my other dog. He's a wonky little crazy guy named uh, Gizmo. And he's got Gizmo when he does his ears up. They're massive Boston Terrier ears. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's like a third the size <laughs> of my bull terrier who likes to wrestle with him and beat him up and she gets super jealous when he gets attention. So now she's going at him. Um, hey, 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 okay, enough guys, enough, chill, good docs. Um, but yeah, uh, anyways, um, like I was saying, like the, like the, the value proposition of like an everyday workhorse, right? Like they're just, it's things that are they're valuable because they they work they sound good they they for you look really cool like i'm pretty sure purple isn't everybody's thing but i mean i like purple and it's a it's fun i, I enjoy it um so 
but yeah, like stuff like that where there's the value proposition, that kind of thing. Um, let me turn these way down because I'm pretty sure these do not need that much amperage for <laughs> this type of stuff. Let me make sure my desktop audio is muted. I think I'm just going to listen to Spotify because I'm lazy and I don't want to deal with uh, um, Cobuzz right now. Let's see. Random. I don't, I don't have it listed right now, but I'll listen uh, to some random stuff. Um, uh, let's do... I'm going to listen right now. Uh... Let's do Geographer. This is how we walk on the moon. So it has a nice little bass and some highs and stuff. Yeah, man. Like, it's got airiness. It's great. It's, uh, you know, I have that, the impact a little bit's there. Um, yeah, put a <laughs> on a speaker out. These do not need, like, it's, it's crazy how wide these sound, too, for how small, like, you know, these are just nothing burgers, and they just, they sound great, uh, for what they are, right? Like, they're just, they're workhorses. Um, and God, these so nice. I enjoy these so much. Um, yeah, I'm not doing the part of Russ justice. It's true. And see, the vocals are good. It's a little. I mean, it's weird. Like these are so good for what when you take into account the price and just proper just enjoyment. Like these sound great. Like they're just a good little setup. Would, would I get more enjoyment from my Verite clothes? Most definitely. Would I get better detail, impact, all that fun stuff? Most definitely. But for just a quick, easy, get it done type of deal that just sounds great and looks pretty fun. And honestly, I have this pretty loud and I can barely hear it when I take it off my head. So that's pretty cool, the isolation of these things. Um, but it's, you know, so... In fact, I actually want to listen to this more. This is really good. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's so fun going back to things that are, you know, not, you know, these expensive high-end in-game type headphones and listening to something, you know, like the Porter Pro or um, the, the G-Buds or even, I mean, heck, even your AirPods, uh, AirPods or uh, I wouldn't, I, uh, AirPods Pro actually is what I have, and I really like those for what they are. But I still prefer these. These are way more comfortable than AirPods Pro for me. Um, and I do have the KSC-75s. They're actually up there. Um... And I was gonna, I can pop those over too and probably swap them out a little bit, but, and I do agree, the KSC 70, the KSC 75s do sound better to me than the Porter Pros, but I just, the, the comfort of the Porter Pros is better for me. So I might just, I might do the mod where you swap out the, um, the drivers to the, with the, the two. I just been, haven't done it because these are usually living in my, my to-go bags and whatnot, so I just haven't, haven't had the time to do it. Um... Yeah, honestly, Tarrant, I agree, man. Like the, because honestly, I do not like the stock pads on the on the Cosses at all. <laughs> like they're just not. Like it's all it's a it's a requirement to have the Axi pads, in my opinion. Um, yeah, if you're having, sorry, this this beast is trying to dig into stuff. Um, say hi, Booba. <laughs> now go lay down over there, you crazy dog. Um, but like, I think that's the thing, right? Like there's, there's that aspect of things like what's, what's a value to people matters, right? Um, but yeah, like, uh, anyways, I'm, I'm going to dive into this tomorrow after my little weird rant of, you know, what's good enough and what's value and, and to one person is not necessarily a value to others. And, um, but it, I think that's a thing that people forget about, right? Like, um, we're not... We're not all the same people, right? We all look different. We all have different uh, tastes and likes and dislikes and biases and preferences. And I think that can be something that you really need to account for when you read reviews, you read um, or watch videos on people talking about their reviews or whatnot. You know, what music are they listening to? What's their audio chain? Um, what's, you know, what's their their general preference? What's their other headphones that they have owned, that they own? Not necessarily that they have on, on hand, but that they literally spent the money to buy and, and, and truly enjoy. I think that makes a big difference on where their opinions lie too, right? Like that's how you can get a better grasp of what they mean, you know, when they're talking about different um, aspects of a headphone or a, a piece of gear or kit or even like photography, like like uh, Martin was talking about or uh, Elnric. Um, like that's, you know, yeah, photography. Uh, your best headphone is the one you have on you and that's 100% accurate. Like I think... 
at the end of the day, we're in the, the, the hobby of listening to music, not buying gear and, <laughs> and collecting gear, which is in and of itself a nice, fun hobby to have. Like having this, you know, there's art to some of the stuff for sure, like the Verite clothes, um, all the ZMF stuff, the Alex Rosin stuff. It's, it's to me, just as art artistic or uh, as much of an art piece as, as um, you know, a painting sometimes or a, a statue or what have you. Um, hey, you two, go lay down. Quit being crazy. I don't trust you. Sorry, I'm being distracted. This is more of an impromptu, fun, random live chat anyways. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, the, so yeah, once again, the, the KSC-75s are, I agree, those are really good. For me, though, with, when I have the Axie pads on them, um, they they aren't the most comfortable for me. Um, but at, in their you know traditional form. But I do agree, they do sound good. But like I said, I want to swap them, swap the drivers to the Porta Pros. Um, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> and but and then there's that right. Like I I do this all the time. Like I I like to meme and and faux bully my my friends right. But I can see out of context some people coming into a conversation that's on a Discord or in certain forums maybe or what have you. Where you know even like where I'm discussing or having you know I'm poking at friends and 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 memeing and and bullying uh, friends and and doing that kind of thing, um, where. If out of context, it's you know I'm I'm having fun, and, but at the same time, like if it's not fun for the other person, then that's not right either, right? So, um, so I you know I, that's a fine line to walk, and you have to be real careful with that. And I and I hope that if, if I ever offended any of my friends or people that I discuss with online, uh, with my my I try to clarify that I'm joking most of the time. Um, but I mean yeah, I think it's it, you know I, I meme all the time that I don't like hyphen, which I'm purposely you know I'm not the I, I'm not the biggest fan of Hyperman. I'm just not. It's just the thing. Um, at the same time, I appreciate what they do. I think they're fantastic headphones um, for the sound that they make and what have you. Um, I have my own biased reasons for why I'm not the biggest fan of them. Um, but, you know, uh, at the end of the day, they're, you know, they make fantastic music, right? The, as a piece of gear and a piece of kit, they, they do the job and they do it well. Um, but, yeah. And, and also, senior, you're correct. Uh, other opinions are okay, um, but as long as they know that they're wrong. Uh, <laughs> we are all the protagonists in our own stories, after all, right? It's just, it's good to remember that uh, the other people around you are not uh, NPCs and are also protagonists in their own stories. So, um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that, uh, yeah, my opinions, uh, like, I always joke with people, like, uh, you know, my, my, my farts smell like potpourri. Might be dead rotting potpourri, but it's still potpourri, right? Uh, <laughs> sorry, there's a random fun joke there. But uh, I don't know, like that's something kind of like my weird rant for the day um, a little bit. Like I think that was kind of weird. We got into a different topic, but um, but I wanted to, to discuss that about like kind of like the Axie pads and the, and the, and the, the Porta Pros and... Um, the the G buds of the world, the the AirPod Pros or Pro AirPods by themselves, the um, these things that are tools. They're tools that get us closer to the music that we want to enjoy. And so, finding those things that are special is what's I think what propels people down the audiophile path. Of you know, like for me, the Verite clothes or ZMF in general. Like I'm a big fan of theirs. And so for that, like that's something that propels me down that path of like. Oh, I want to hear more, or or you get those experiences of that. I call it chasing the dragon of audiophile a little bit, right? Where you you get that mind blowing experience for you first time you hear a song that you've listened to a million times, and like you, like the HD eight hundred, and all of a sudden I hear like this super wide stage, and it was just like what? Like and you start chasing that experience, right? Like what what else can I? What else am I missing? What else am I? You know, can I get that again, right? Um, do I think spacers affect which headphones you enjoy? <laughs> uh spacers i'm trying to think what spacers are um are you talking about like spacers in the sense of spacers on the headphone right i'll have to clarify that one um but i think certain things definitely uh, w would affect your experience right like so um here's a here's an example right like so you open up that first your headphone you're super excited and you pull it out 
and let's say it got broken in the in the process of being shipped to you or or it's a defective unit or what that's going to 100 percent color your opinion and view of that headphone if you get the replacement and it's good because now you're going to be constantly worried about oh does this is this you know whatever and but also the factor of how that um how who you bought it from and how that experience relegated to you know was it a good experience getting that return or doing that process and you know that would color that factor too and, and that would color your enjoyment of a thing as well so i mean there's all these things that <laughs> yes i can definitely enjoy headphones while spaced for instance one of my uh if that's the term like <laughs> being uh one of my favorite uh distortion mechanics is uh is bourbon or whiskey um so yeah, uh, definitely. So I don't know. That was just kind of the fun thoughts I was having about this. That I was thinking about this morning as well. Like, what's, what's, uh, you know, the hobby mean to each individual and how they they that plays into their opinions on things. And I think that sometimes people don't take a step back enough when they're you know all of a sudden they hear something that's contrary to what they're experiencing, right? And so to, everyone needs to remember that everyone has their own experiences. And so it's not necessarily going to align with yours. Even if it's the same gear chain or same headphone, maybe not necessarily the same gear chain, but I mean, um, that factors, right? Like, so, and, and a lot of times it's tough to kind of like, and I, I do this, I'm like, oh, wow, that's completely contrary to what, <laughs> what my experience is. And I'll ask questions like, well, well why? Well, why is it that way? And sometimes that can come off as, is uh aggressive to some people um or i think you have to you know it's just a matter of how you convey that that, that why right like is it you know do you try to tease it out of them or do you just go direct and be like well that's not what my experience is and therefore i want to know more of why your experience was that way um you know and, and there's things you can ask like what's your music preference what's the pads you're using what's the you know the source gear what's the you know all that fun stuff to kind of maybe tease out some of the information of why oh my god these dogs <laughs> this might have been a bad idea hey uh-uh no more that's okay we're okay good dogs no more wrestling okay um but uh you know like the those types of deals like right where, where you're you're you want to tease out the information from them because you want to you want to you want to kind of sync with what the your experiences are to theirs that kind of deal um and sometimes it's tough to get those questions um in a f way or format that some people won't take offense to for instance or like you know some people get real defensive like well you know and so that's tough to to get around sometimes um hey enough thank you good doggies she can't do enough. That's not a bully's mentality. She has to go right back to it. Um, but, uh, <laughs> um, uh, anyways, um, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think uh, with that number? I think that was kind of all I wanted to discuss was kind of do this fun unboxing, and then I wanted to kind of have my little rant about uh, good enough and, and sound preferences and enjoyability and how everyone's kind of different, and uh, we all have our experiences and and. And it's fun to learn other people's experience. And, and for me, I, I try to emulate them to see if I can wrap my brain around other people's experiences if I can or try to put my, 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 my feet in their shoes kind of thing or stand in their, in their, their I don't know what that analogy is. That went a weird tangent. Oops. <laughs> but, you know, like, you know, stay, stand there and go, yeah, they're full on out like having a doggy dog match, do, doggy death match. Um, which is silly because my Boston weighs maybe 15 to 20 pounds and the bully's like 35, 40 pounds. Um, <laughs> but, uh, anyways, um, yeah, so I think that was kind of where I wanted to discuss that stuff. Like, what's the, uh, oh, Leonardo, he's, uh, he's still here. He's just, he's, he's right here. He's my, my buddy. I can, don't mind the mess. It's a little bit chaotic, but there's my, there's my buddy Leo with his buddy Panda and, some of my Nintendo Amiibos and other random stuff that I need to figure out what I need to do with in this space. Um, oops, sorry for the jar. Uh, but yeah, um, I have all my other fun, all my other fun toys. I'm, at my, I'm a weird toy collector as well. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's you know some of the things that are some interesting topics that I that, that I, I find fun. And I think it'd be fun, kind of interesting to have like a you too, man. Thanks for joining in. Um, 
I think it'd be fun to have like a, a live chat, like get like a group of people and like discuss this topic a little bit, right? Like maybe I'll have to have like one of these in the next week or so. Maybe I'll grab like some of the some of the different people that we've had on before on like the Hi-Fi After Dark or whatnot, and that'd be a that'd be a fun topic I think to kind of discuss with other people as well of like what's what's good enough, um, how to to kind of wrap your head around other people's experiences that don't necessarily um, you know jive with yours. Um, and then, you know, maybe like a, another thing I've always found interesting is, and, and other people have discussed it before too, is um, people that are doing reviews, and I know this is not easy, and I, I, I even just doing live chats is not. <laughs> hey, Sebastian, what's up? Uh, talk about if I rep in the house. Um, but like, you know, like I think that would be interesting to, to, to kind of get um, those things kind of squared, right, too. Like um, how, hey, enough pup pups. Good job. Um, like, back to it. Um, but yeah, how those things work with other people and like kind of maybe see... Uh, <laughs> oh, senor with the burn. Um, yeah, yeah, and get like Android, too. Like, yeah, like... In, in, like there's things like for me for instance like I know certain people that I trust opinions hey it's enough okay thank you um, and I'll but at the same time I know that those opinions are theirs and they don't necessarily always align with my opinions or my what I would like or what I you know so there's those kinds of things um, <coughs> yeah so Sebastian this is what you missed is I got the uh, <coughs> excuse me the uh, Cost sent me, I've been asking for them for a while to make purple Yaxi pads, and they finally did it, and they sent them to me, and I'm not sure if I'm the first person to get them, but I'm definitely very stoked to have them, and uh, I will be taking some proper pictures of these and posting them on Instagram and all that fun stuff a little bit later, um, but uh, the purple, the purple life is, it's coming full circle, it's, it's becoming a thing, this is pretty excellent like i'm very you, you you guys have no idea how excited and stoked i am for these like it's such a small thing but it's just like these are gold to me in fact i need to get some more and uh get some uh i want to get some different uh, collection of porter pros to color match and do all that fun stuff and do some other fun stuff like that um uh but yeah like the but so those type of things, right? Like matching and then also i sent uh um our boy uh an iffy black label um Micro. So I think those. Yeah. So he's gonna have that for his some of his reviews. He's the 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 local IEM. Uh, I almost said a bad thing. I almost called him his name on uh, audio discourse. Um, but precognition. He's on there. So I, I sent him the black label. So he has that for his his reviews now. Um, speaking of iffy. So see, I brought it around to you. Um, looking forward to the Diablo as well. Um, but yeah. I think that's a fun topic to have, right? Like maybe we'll have to do that. We'll have to do like a, a cool, non-doggy interrupted, um, yeah, you beast, I see you, uh, uh, discussion about what's good enough, those kind of things, um, what's uh, preferences, biases, kind of experiences versus other people's experiences. How do you wrap around, wrap your brain around those other people's experiences and get to, to where they're at or see maybe that it's not necessarily a bad thing to have differing opinions and experiences. It's actually a good thing. That's why we have all these different audio gears and audio reviews and all this, you know, it's why it's fun. Um, anyhow, I don't want to take up any more of your guys' time unless you guys have any more like fun stuff you want to discuss or anything like that. I might have to, yeah, my, my bully is gone nuts. She's, she's super stoked that she's in the room and playing with her, her buddy. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, just these, these mongrels going, going at, I don't know if I can get this without making it look, make you guys sick. No, she's just sitting still. Um, you guys like my little, my little FOMO pillow there? There she is. And of course now they're not wrestling, right? They're just like, oh, whatever. Hey, Booba. Booba. Hi. Whoop, oh, there it is. You gonna attack and kill? Hi, Gizmo. Yeah, Gizmo can't have attention. Um, anyways, uh, now this is all jacked up. But anyways, I'll try to make this not sideways and crooked. And you see my messy room and all that fun stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, 
Yeah, Blizzard and Nifty. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, that the, why not? You should, you guys should have the Diablo as a with a special graphic on uh, from Blizzard for the release of the new Diablo game, not the, not the amp. So Zach does make purple uh, merch, by the way, right, right? So he has a uh, wow. It's you know what it's focusing on? It's focusing on Ramona. It 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 likes her eyes better than my eyes. That's that's what's happening. Thanks, Sony. I don't have pretty enough eyes for you. I see how it is. I see how it is. Let's see if I can get this to. Huh? 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 Nope. <laughs> it's not wanting to play nice. Or if I block, where is she? Yeah, there you go. Is it gonna is it gonna do it? Sony's not happy with me right now. It's like, oh no, Ramona, she's way better looking than you. You should have Ramona in your streams at all times. Um Let's see if I can get this to <laughs> My camera's like, nope, screw you. I wanna focus on Ramona. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's just evolved. Um let's see. Bring it back in. Come back in. Nope. Okay. Do I have to remove Ramona from my my wall of up there? Uh, I guess you guys just have to deal with focused Ramona. <laughs> it's just like not wanting to. It's like no. I have Ramona now. She is mine. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Bring it off. Bring it back. But if I block, if I get my eyes in here. Uh, no, nope. Jesus, that's horrible. Thanks, Sony. Thanks for this manual focus. We'll switch back to autofocus. There we go. <laughs> like it truly is. It's like, oh, who's that up there? Who's that? I want. I want to see more of her. <laughs> um. Anyway, sorry. Random. <laughs> live stream stuff but I don't know anyways I just wanted to have a fun chat with you guys and, and discuss and see what's going on and and that uh, and do the unboxing for the Porter Pros was a big one um, or the Yaxi pads uh, I'm gonna get some pictures of those and have some some fun with that later this afternoon hey 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 come on that's not nice um <laughs> yeah precog so that, yeah so precog has the black label now so he already should have it this week I think um, and P for Fa, I believe this week you're getting some fancy uh, new new uh, toys to play with for a, for a little bit. You have to let me know when you get those, um, and I'll get you the shipping label out to the next person. Um, I'm excited to hear what you have to say about those. Um, and then yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, me, defeat the seven focus bosses exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, Booba, no, that's not a chew toy. She would lack. So the fun thing about boys, I don't know if you guys know, but so she does this thing where she likes to latch on, and uh, with her, she just it's not like a, a hard thing, but more like a like a, a light latch on. Like so when she's she gives these like love nibbles, where she'll just kind of nib, like she'll attach, and she just holds real tight and just like tries to be as close to you as possible. It's, it's super super cute and adoring, but at the same time. If, if she has really she has shark teeth like it's crazy she has this, like these crazy shark like they actually have ridges and stuff it's crazy um so it hurts and the wife does not not a fan um let's see let's see yeah <laughs> um yeah and that's why I, I told her I told I told precog it's the it's the it's the the crin special um but anyways, uh, any questions for me at all? Uh, I'll, I'll go from there and I'll let you guys uh, have the rest of your day. I just want to, like I said, just have a fun, quick unbox of these beautiful, beautiful pieces of kit. Um, now, of course, it's it's gonna watch. It's gonna latch onto Ramona and just it's, it's gonna be horrible. Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked for these. These things are amazing. My dogs, sorry for my pup pups. Um, I thought it'd be safe. I thought, I really did. I thought they would just relax and sleep. Um, they've been sleeping all day. Maybe that's the problem. They've been sleeping in front of the fireplace all day. And now they're like, oh, freedom, carpet, run. Yes, let's kill each other. Um, but yeah, I think that was a fun, fun way to, to go. Uh, <laughs> 
Where did I get that scroll? Uh, are you talking about the cherry blossom one? That was a random, um, that one. Uh, random buy in Portland, Oregon, of all places. It was like this art store, and I think it was like going out of business or something. I can't remember. It was like this really cool art store in downtown Portland. And it was, it was like, I think it was like 30 bucks. Hey, 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 enough. Enough. Let's play nice. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so that's where I got that from. Um, oh, yes. Uh, so actually, yeah, P for Fuh. Um, Zelastics. These are my favorites. All right, there it is. So these are the, the Zelastic ones. But my other favorites, I actually do really love the Sednas. Um, these are my other ones that I use on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see these. Day-to-day um, -day basis. Um, it's the Sedna uh, Medium Sauce, I think. Um, uh, longs, I think. I don't know. But these are, yeah, the Sednas are fantastic. I think they're, they're my favorite uh, IEM tips. And I'm not the biggest I am guy. Like I, I like I am's, but I'm not like if I have my way. Like I would prefer even the Porter Pro's comfort more. Um. <laughs> they did. They did. They're like, hey, you know, it'd be good. Uh, you know, Papa's letting us up in his room. Let's uh, let's murder each other. It's gonna be great. You know, like these little little turd butts there. Um. Yeah, and that's the thing. You, you have to really play it. The, the Sednas, though, they do run um, big. They run bigger than your norm, what you would think. So you have to really pay attention to like the measurements um, and like the bore size, like the on their on like on Amazon or whatever. You, you can see the measurement types and make sure that they that aligns with what you're, you're looking for. Um, oh, do they do they work, Alex, with the AirPods Pro? Because my AirPods Pro experience with as far as like the in like has not been fun. They just pop out and they they're not the most comfortable. Like I don't like wearing them for very long. You know it's crazy. It's it's the Boston. The Boston is attacking her. Like she's she actually lays down and starts to be chill, and then he comes and jumps on her. Hey, <laughs> it's like okay. In fact, he's the one making all the noise. All the weird noises you're hearing, it's the Boston. It's not her. She makes. She actually doesn't make any noises. <laughs> hey, hey, enough. That's you, Gizmo. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I, I've been saying bye for a while. Um, yeah, and I, I heard that the, there's, the, um, hey, 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 enough, enough, that's enough, come on, play nice. Um, the uh, uh, foams, I got recommended some foams to use with AirPods Pros that are, um, I think it was Dakoni or one of the other ones, one of the other main ones. Um, I do really want the G buds because of that purple case and purple. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I might have a purple problem, but I do want the purple ones for the G buds. I do like those G buds, the new, the new ones, and that that call it like a, a violet or like a um, what shade of purple is it? The lighter shade of purple. Uh, actually, I don't know if you guys have ever seen. So fun, fun fact. I'm gonna minimize some of my windows here. Um, Let's see here. Um, so you can see how far my purple ridiculousness goes. My wallpaper, I don't know if this is gonna work, <laughs> but uh, I don't think this thing turns all the way. I'll do it. But uh, I actually have, it's a giant purple wallpaper with a, a guy falling into the purple sea. This was originally, I think, a blue color, um, but uh, you know, I had to take it into Photoshop and, and, and change it out, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this thing's all jacked up now. I keep messing with my camera, and it's all like, oh, yeah, that's what you need to do. Um, but, yeah, I love purple. It is the way it is. Fifty Shades of Purple. I'm, that's exactly it. I love my purples. Um, but, uh... Right, these, these monsters, man. Hey, enough. You two, two beasties. Um, yeah, I've been like I said. Uh, purple really is like purple. Like it's such a fantastic. So my favorite, uh, I think, were my purple love. To give you guys an idea, I guess we go down another side, just having a fun chat thing. Is my where my purple love comes from? Is uh, as a kid, my favorite Ninja Turtle was Donatello, 
And so I think that's where the purple comes from. Like, looking back on, like, you know. And I think it was one of those things, like, you know, you're growing up, you never admit to liking purple. Because when I was growing up, I was like, oh, you can't. That was, mm -mm. So, like, my other, my other favorite colors have always been, like, blacks and blues and similar colors like that. But, uh, yeah, I think that it comes from the Donatello uh, Ninja Turtles. So, and I have a bunch of Ninja Turtle collections. Like, I have all the different purple. Like, well, I have the whole Lego sets and stuff and a bunch of all that fun stuff. In fact, I even have a purple Deadpool uh, special limited edition. I think it's called like the Shadow one or something like that. But he's purple Deadpool. It's awesome. Which, off the other thing, that's my other, my other fantastic favorite thing in the world is giving maximum effort right there. Oh, yeah. Maximum effort. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you'd ever be able to sway me out of, uh, out of the purple world. Um, yeah. <laughs> Here my little galaxy purple blue. Um, yeah, so those are I don't know, those are some fun fun facts I guess about about me. Uh, Ninja Turtles, I love them. Uh, Don Tello is my favorite. Um, what a flex! <laughs> my, my my action figure flex. <laughs> and, it, and it's not all. Of them. I have a ton in the garage. My wife's super. She's like. Why? Like, no, you can't have. Like, so I have like Legos, like in the like I had to put them break down into boxes. They're all packed in the garage, uh, all that fun stuff. Um, I think in some of my things you might have seen about like the big Boba Fett Slave One, all that fun stuff. I love those things. Um, yeah. Uh, so the Boba Fett, the Slave One Lego set was fantastic, and I also have the uh, ATAT, um, the big ATAT Lego set, which is another super fun one. Um, Actually, last round, that is an epic. Like, in, in how much you conveyed in that short amount of time in, of, of, or in text is like, <laughs> it's, I, I know those feels. I, I've, I've, I think we've all had, both male and female, have had those experiences of, of, uh, of that in our lifetimes, I think, or I'd hope, of, of uh, kind of like having a really good audio file experience, right? It kind of shocks you and you, you end up chasing it. Um, Oh, uh, Carm Cables. Yeah, actually, you know, P for, P for Fa, actually, um, I, it, I, it's all it's put away right now, but I, I have a, a fantastic purple cable from him as well that he's, that his, uh, he's, he's starting a fun little, little company for, uh, cables. So, um, I think I shared it on a couple of things like, and I don't, I can't remember, I don't think I posted on Instagram, but, uh, it's a nice cable, very nice cable. Um. Let's see here. Uh, gonna request a purple job. Yes, yes. The more purple things, the better. Sebastian, we will be best friends for life. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the M scaler for the TT2. I'm waiting on a, a demo unit first, and then I'll. Um, I just tied up a lot of my other money with camera gear and some other stuff. Um, kind of recouping from the purchase of the the TT2, and and I you know bought a bunch of other random things that weren't audio related um keyboards computer stuff gaming stuff a lot of photography stuff um yeah and and Ellen, as Ellen says m scaler is stupid expensive <laughs> and and i've heard it i've heard it on the dave i've heard it on the on a tt2 um i do want to have like some proper time with it in-house but uh yeah like it's just an, it's an expensive bit of kit and it it does do some cool things but at the end of the day, it's kind of like uh, it's a nice to have, not a need to have kind of piece of kit. Um, but I do want to get one in, and it's one of those things where it's like that final, like you know, push to your final setup kind of deal. Um, I like the Dave, but honestly, uh, for me, I actually like the sound of the TT2 slightly better than the Dave, and the Dave is definitely technically a better DAC. Um, I just also, I'm not a big fan of the way that Dave looks, so that might be also coloring my opinion of not wanting a Dave. Um, <laughs> and stonks, yeah. So I did I actually that's true. I did put a bunch of money into stock the stock the stonks into the stonks, uh, and so now I'm kind of uh, I kind of tied up a bunch of my money in other random things. So uh, I wish I had complete uh, liquidity and and could do whatever I wanted whenever I wanted. Hopefully, the lottery plays out for me later on. 
I invested in AD. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I need to get in on that AD uh, um, train. Uh, Ant, Ant pays his people really well. Um, I think it's like, uh, what, I can't remember exactly what it was. Like, it was like 10,000 um, ruples or something like that a day or something. I can't remember. It's some crazy number. Um, I think it equates out to about like two cents a day, though, in real, real world, uh, US dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah uh so those are kind of a fun hangout um ipo coming soon sweet i will definitely invest in some ant droid uh ipo um i'm looking forward to, there's a couple other ipos that are they're coming out that i'm excited for i think hopefully uh so i'm a bit i like investing in ipos uh i think they're kind of a higher risk potentially but you end up i think in the long run end up going good um i'm also a big i'm not a big flipper stock guy i like to hold and and grow. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grower, stock grower. Uh, I like, I like to see green. I don't like seeing red. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyways, I don't want to play with you guys too much longer. It's been about 50 minutes. As a couple, I actually literally intended this to be like 30 minutes for the, and just kind of, and then I went on my weird rant. I don't know why it just kind of popped up, but, um, yeah, look for, uh, if you're on Instagram, I'll, I'll try to get some of these posted up here later now because my dogs are going nuts. I have weird dog hairs. I'm going to have to do some tape and make these all pretty. Um, but yeah, I uh, look forward to some Instagram pics of those here in the next, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, super stoked for where the, the year's going. Uh, oh my gosh, you too. Enough. Okay, I love you. I do, but you need to chill. Um... <laughs> dogs breaking adhd and dogs like this is not good uh yeah day trading is not something i it's too much stress i agree that's it's fun for a little bit i'll do it with like penny stocks or those kind of things but it's not very fun for like the real world money throw at stuff um but yeah that's another thing to be fun i think i'd love to like i'm not a financial person by any way shape or form like i i invest uh in things that i believe in uh aka i own <laughs> or that i think are cool um you know, like I'll, I'll buy, let's say I have a, I have Apple stuff, so I buy Apple uh, product, I buy Apple stocks, or I have Intel um, CPUs, so I buy Intel stock. Um, I have an AMD, it's actually above there, I have an AMD for my <laughs> Apple uh, for, um, so I bought their stocks, and also because I like what they're doing. Or if I see something that I think is really cool and uh, like what their, their thoughts are on things or what have you, I'll, I'll invest that way. Um, and then I have your traditional stocks as well, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I think that stuff's fun. It's interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks for jumping in with me. I will officially, as my wife says, I do the forever goodbyes. It's like that. Oh yeah, bye. And then oh yeah, by the way. Oh bye. Oh by the way. Yeah. I'm horrible at that. My wife makes fun of me nonstop. So, you guys, beautiful people, love y'all. Cheers. I'll chat with you in the discords on the wonderful uh, forum and anywhere else that we chat. And uh, I believe, sorry, forever goodbye. Uh, one more. Uh, Friday, we're looking at possibly uh, Mr. Photography on his channel. He's going to do um, with Elmrick. Um, uh, we're going to try and do a, a live stream, kind of a chill one. We're trying to try to shoot for an earlier in the day as well um, to discuss um, tubes. Uh, should be fun and discuss like what the uh, uh, that kind of fun stuff is you know with tubes and like look at the different kind of anything under a thousand bucks kind of thing. So look forward to that on Marcello's channel Friday. We'll get I'm sure he'll get a time scheduled and we'll go from there. And with that, cheers. I will see you guys on the next one. Later's <laughs> and the second end button. <laughs>